Oh, you know who loves Kirby. Hello, Dusty Buns. Can I call you Dusty Buns? No? Oh, sorry. Hey, Dustin. Yeah, it's Scott at Reindeer Studios. How are you, buddy? Great, great, great. Hey, you're the Kirby guy. I have a sweet, sweet 1987 Sport Flex Kirby I want to sell you. Oh, you already have it? Okay, hold on. All right, I've got a 1988 Rite Aid. Got that one too. Okay, one sec. Ninety-six upper deck promo. Nope. Okay. You like rock and roll? How about a uh, rock cards AC/DC card? Okay, cool. I am thinking six hundred. Yeah, dollars. No. Okay. Uh, forty dollars. Yeah, you know where this is going. Um, forty dollars and an Angus Young marker doodle. No, you don't want an Angus Young marker doodle. You want a dime bag Daryl doodle? You know, I do love some alliteration, so Dustin's dime bag Daryl doodle it is. Deal. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my holy grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my grail card a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. My favorite Minnesotan, Dustin from Dustin and Blake, reached out and wanted me to draw something for him. He's got quite a few of my drawings, actually, and he jokes that he's going to wallpaper his house with them, but he wanted something a little different this time. He actually already has a Kirby Pocket Doodle, and I figured he'd want a Harmon Killebrew or maybe a Minnesota Viking drawing, but he's also really into the rock and roll music, so he surprised me by asking me for a Dimebag Daryl Doodle. Sounded like fun to me, as I have my rock roots as well. So I agreed, but I didn't have any sort of Dimebag Daryl trading card to pretend to sell him, so I went with the ACDC card, even though Daryl never played for that band. I just wanted to clear that up. I gotta make do with what I have over here. So it's time for a little history lesson. Daryl Abbott, better known as Dimebag Daryl, was the fun-loving, super-talented guitarist and co-founder of the metal bands Pantera and the lesser-known Damage Plan. He was widely respected and influential across the metal scene, and Pantera was one of the biggest heavy metal bands of all time. But unfortunately, he was shot and killed by a deeply disturbed fan during a Damage Plan show in Columbus in 2004. But I don't want to bum you all out and dwell on tragedy. Pantera was huge when I was in high school and early college. I even got to see them live once as I went to a good number of concerts in my youth and I'm an old curmudgeon now and I rarely leave the house, but back in the day, I was really influenced by concert poster art. In the mid 90s, there was quite a scene of artists who were famous for doing nothing but concert posters and I wanted to be one of those guys. I collected concert posters back then, sort of the way I collect sports cards. Uh, they were big and bold and usually silk screened, signed and numbered. So one of the very first ones I bought was a Pantera poster by Derek Hess. A couple of years ago, I purchased my Holy Grail poster, this Cop Shoot Cop poster, also by Derek Hess, and a strange thing happened. I have not bought a concert poster since, and I wonder sometimes if the same kind of thing is going to happen when I get my Cy Young card, but I think I have plenty of unfinished projects when it comes to sports cards, and they're smaller and easier to store and collect, you know, and there are a couple more big cards that I'd like to own someday. So I don't know, I don't see me giving up on baseball cards anytime soon. I still like concert posters, but there aren't any that I just have to have. I am rambling, sorry. So how about instead we'll do a terrible joke? So this is the story about how Dustin met his wife. She was walking through the park when she sees Dustin sitting on a park bench. He's reading a book and eating some fruit out of a Tupperware container. And she's immediately smitten with the hunk of hunk of burning love sitting over there and she decides to approach him. So she walks over and takes a seat next to him on the bench and turns to him and says, Sorry to bother you. I know this may be a little forward, but I would love to grab a beer with you sometime. Flattered, Dustin responds, sure, but uh, what makes you so certain you and I would get along so well? Well, she says, a couple things actually. I noticed you were wearing a ZZ Top t-shirt. ZZ Top is my favorite band of all time. When they went on tour in 97, my parents took me to see them in Minneapolis. I was 12 years old. It was the very first concert I ever went to. I absolutely love those guys. Dustin couldn't believe it. I saw them play in Minneapolis in 97 too. First concert I ever went to on my own. My best friend MP Fox and I told our parents we were sleeping at each other's houses and we snuck out. We took a bus into the city and saw them play at the Minnesota State Fair. 
Naturally, they were both shocked. If that isn't weird enough, she said, I noticed you're reading Mark Twain. I was a communications major in college and I actually wrote my thesis on Mark Twain, how he used satire as a lens to comment on current events of the time. Comparing him to satirical news sources of today, he's my favorite author. Now Dustin is really taken aback. Get out of here. I was an English major in college. I specialized in 19th century American literature. This is like my fourth or fifth time reading Tom Sawyer. I absolutely love Mark Twain. Truthfully, Dustin was really reading it because he thought it was a book about Rush, but he wanted to impress her, you know? Okay, she says, buckle up, buttercup, because here's the icing on the cake. I noticed you're eating a prune. Prunes are my absolute favorite fruit. When I was a kid, my grandfather lived on a farm. He had an orchard that mainly grew apples and some lemons, but he knew how much my sister and I loved those prunes, so he kept a couple of plum trees. Every year at the end of the summer, we'd go up and harvest the plums with them, and then he'd dry them, and by the time we'd go back to his place for Thanksgiving, he'd always have those prunes saved just for us. They're my favorite fruit. I love prunes. You're eating a prune. This has got to be fate. What do you say? Dustin puts down his fruit and responds, um, it's a date? All right, there's Dimebag Daryl looking all rock and roll hoochie coo. Thanks for asking me to do this one, Dustin. It was so much fun, and I got to sort of relive my concert poster roots. Two blips closer to my Cy Young card today. I am so close. If this were a concert, my ears would be bleeding. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll catch you next time.